In this video, we will learn how to select multiple cells which are not contiguous, so which means which are not next to each other. So let's see how we can use keyboard shortcuts to select such cells. So let's say, for example, I want to select cell A1 and C5. So I would click on cell A1 and then use control key and then also left click on cell C5 and this would select A1 and C5. These two cells are not contiguous, but I can still select them and I can apply any operation. Again, let's see if we can delete it. There you go, I can select these two cells together very easily. And let me do Control Z to bring them back and undo my operation. So if you can see here, when we selected A1 and C5, C5 becomes the active cell. And if you happen to type anything now, you will enter them in cell C5. As you can see here, C5 is the active cell. And the same way that the non-active cells in your selection will show up with a light blue shaded color, and that's how you can detect that this is a selected cell. And also you can see since A1 is selected, the column heading A and row number one are also highlighted here. Similarly, column heading C and row number five are highlighted, and that tells you that these are the selected cells. And I, we can add more. For example, I can keep pressing control and select one more. And now I've selected three cells and I can select this. So that would make it four. So we can select any cells. You can also select any empty cells if you'd like anywhere. And these cells will form the selected cells now. So this is one way of doing it. There's also another way where you can lock your selection. Let's see how we can do that. Let's say I want to select A1 through A3, so I've selected all three together. And now if I want to add C3 to C5, I can either press Control and select C3 to C5 this way. Basically, I'm clicking and dragging, but I'm pressing my Control key while I'm doing that. So this makes sure that these cells were added to the selection. And now if I want to select many, many, many such cells at a time it might be harder for me to keep pressing control all the time and also if i move across screens to select something it might not be that easy so for that purpose we can what we can do is once we selected a1 through a3 press shift f8 and once you do that this will be selected this selection will remain locked so now if i go here and click on cell c3 now all these three cells plus C3 are now selected. I can click here. Again, I'm not pressing any control key now. I'm just using my mouse, pressing here. My cell B5 is now added to selection. I can just select these cells and now they will be added. And I can select this. I can select anywhere I want, any group of cells. I can even select multiple rows and columns at the same time. All of them will be added to my selection just because I pressed shift f8 originally it locks me into this mode where i can select multiple cells at the same time anywhere on the sheet and now if i want to stop locking my selection or if i'm done with selecting press shift f8 again and now you still have them selected but if you click anywhere you will now deselect everything because what you're telling excel is now that i have completed my selection now please don't lock me in anymore and now you can apply any operation again let's try delete and now you can see that all the selected cells now have no information because we have deleted and now i can do Control z to undo that but that's a great example of if you want to select multiple cells all over the place in your worksheet maybe in different pages and then apply some specific operation to all of them together then this is how you can do it without having to press control key all the time you can just lock your selection and then keep adding more cells to your selection press shift f8 to stop locking and then you perform your operation then you will be able to apply that operation to all the cells you need 